Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Friday the 13th NES Jason Voorhees figure from NECA Toys. That's right. This is actually the second version of the NES Jason from NECA Toys. The very first one is the one that kicked off this entire video game lineup. It started as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and then it turned into this whole line. And I don't think anybody, including NECA, expected it to happen. So since so many people missed out on that original Jason figure, NECA has found a unique way to re-release him, but still keep that first one special. So let's check out this new version. As you can see, he follows suit with the other video game figures where he comes inside of a box that looks like the old NES video game. It looks just like that old game box. It even has some fake wear and tear around the edges there. And the back of the box has screenshots, but instead of showing the video game, we've got shots of the figure and his included accessories. You'll notice some of those accessories right there are already different from what we got with the first version. You'll also notice, maybe, that there's a little sticker on the front that says open flap to play authentic theme music. Are you guys ready for this? When you open the flap and light hits the inside of the box, you're treated to music straight out of the NES video game. How rad is that? I love it. So that right there already makes this one a little special, a little different from that first release. Also, the graphics on the inside of the box are slightly different. We got the whole screen on the other side that says, You and your friends are dead. Game over. <laughs> and then behind the figure, you can see some screenshots straight out of the video game. So the box is incredible. It plays music, which is so cool. Very retro. Really brings back memories of that old, complicated, frustrating video game. So he's great to leave in the box, but we're going to open him up and take a look at him outside of the packaging as well. So you can see I got him standing here. I've got a few accessories that we're going to talk about in just a bit. But since I've already mentioned that there was another Jason figure, let's start with comparison time. Here on the right, I've got the original Jason Voorhees figure. That was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And here on the left, we've got the brand new version. Now the figure itself is exactly the same. Same sculpt all the way through. The difference is that the San Diego Comic-Con version featured glow-in-the-dark parts, so you can see the hand, the mask, and the little axe here are all glow-in-the-dark, whereas the new version of Jason has just got that light blue kind of colors that are seen in the video game, so no glow-in-the-dark features. You'll also notice a few other details that are slightly different. Uh, we've got some black outlines in the wrinkles and the folds of the costume on the new version of Jason. And if we look under the mask, which does have a fully sculpted face, even though it's all purple, uh, you'll notice we do have some color differences there as well. So that's your difference between your San Diego version and your new retail version. The San Diego version maintains the glow in the dark feature, which is not included on the new one. However, the new one does have a really, really great paint job. And come on, his box plays music. That's amazing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at articulation in case this is your first time seeing this Jason figure outside of the box. Uh, this is based on an awesome regular Jason Voorhees figure that NECA has released. So if you're just a Jason fan, uh, you can track down a figure that doesn't have a ridiculous purple paint scheme. <laughs> but the head's on a nice ball joint, so you can look left, right, up, and down. I showed you how the mask is removable, which is really great ball joints at the shoulders and go outwards forwards and backwards swivel at the elbow standard elbow joints there as well you can see very tight on mine but they do function uh we got nice ball joints at the wrists so the hands can swivel all the way around you can rotate them at the waist left and right there you can also move them up and down at the torso just a bit uh you got the legs are on ball joints at the thigh so you can see we've got great thigh bends there forwards and backwards uh, we've got great knee joints kind of hidden by the pants sculpt which is really cool swivels at the knees and then we got the nice ball joints at the ankles so you got a little bit of articulation with the feet that can kind of move them side to side so you can pose this guy around of course you don't need super dynamic poses with jason Voorhees, but it's nice to know that he does have a decent amount of articulation now, he does come with the same two weapons as the other one, but again, instead of having glow-in-the-dark plastic, they're just solid white blades. We've got the axe, and we've got the machete. So you can arm your Jason up with either one of those weapons, whatever suits you there. And, of course, 
The new accessory with this one is this really creepy floating head of Pamela Voorhees. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so wretched. I love it. Amazing sculpt. Same crazy blue and purple color scheme of Jason there. And she comes on a really nice clear floating stand so that it looks like it's floating in the air. So really, really cool stuff. Definitely a great bonus accessory to have for this figure. So, there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new NES version of Jason Voorhees. So, like I said, so many people missed out on that original San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because he sold out at that show. He was never made available again. But now you've got a new way to pick up this figure. And sure, he doesn't glow in the dark like that original one. That at least makes the San Diego version special for everybody who got it. But this new version is pretty great. I mean, he comes with an extra accessory in the floating head. He's got a pretty great paint job that's actually a little bit more accurate to the game since instead of glow in the dark, it's the blue color. And his box plays music! How amazing is that? I love it so much. So whether you're posing this guy outside of the package, whether you're posing him with the rest of your figures, or keeping him in box, it works anyway. It's just a really great figure, and if you're a fan of this NES or video game collection from NECA Toys, I highly recommend tracking this guy down and adding him to your collection. So I got mine courtesy of my friends at NECA Toys. So special thanks to NECA for sending this along so we can get a good look at it outside of the box. This figure is available at any of your online retailers that carries NECA products such as BigBadToyStore.com or even places like Toys R Us. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time. And hey, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on one of my reviews.